is up you guys it's Megan and today we are playing more Black Widow challenge I'm sorry it took me a while to get this episode out basically I went out of town and I was doing some other things so I kind of lost focus but now we are back with Jacqueline and as if you guys watched the last episode you know that we have gotten Don Lothario to be our boyfriend so in this episode we are going to be working on marrying him so that we can throw a dinner party and then kill him off since this is a challenge we have to kind of move very fast and he's a non-committal sim so it might take a while. See, we already have the propose thing, but I think we're gonna romance him a little bit more. Oh good, and we got level three of the charisma skill, which, um, just a reminder, we have to get level 10 in the charisma skill and cooking skill before the challenge ends. So it looks like we're pretty good in the whole relationship department. And also guys, sorry, I'm like feeling a little sick today, like sinus wise, like I, I keep on sneezing and I'm just a little bit stuffed up. So if you can hear that in my voice, I apologize. So, okay, let's go ahead and try to go for a proposal. Let's see, is it gonna go well? I know that we are supposed to have traditional weddings and stuff like that, but we can't afford it. Is he gonna say yes? Oh yes, he's saying yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> because Don is a con un or not committal sin, uh, just so you guys know, so I was a little worried he would reject us. But I'm really bummed that he didn't bring any money to the household. So I think today we are going to go like collection slash item hunting. It's 2 a.m. So let's check. Wow, um, her stats are very good and so are his. I don't know what happened. I guess I guess we're just all in a good mood. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not really allowed to play Dawn. I can just play um, Jacqueline. And we are so poor and I don't like that. So I think that right now we are going to go to a lot. We're just going to travel with Don and we are gonna go to a park and see if we can get some collectibles to kind of make some money um, I don't know maybe I can get her like some sort of comedy skill or something because I don't know she needs to make money somehow she's not allowed to have a job but I guess the next person that we date will have to have a lot of money I think maybe we will check the bluffs to see if there's any good collectibles there I'm not really sure if we'll find anything because I've never checked for items in the bluffs before Okay, well, I'm not really seeing anything around. I don't know, maybe this was not a good place to come to look for stuff. I just see, like, this pond. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, we can skinny dip together. That would be fun. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so she's in the water, and of course it does blur it. I've actually never seen this interaction. Oh, and there goes Dawn. Let's see, are they going to interact with each other? Can they even interact with each other? So it doesn't appear that we can do any interactions while they're swimming together, so I think I'm pretty much just gonna focus back on trying to find some collectibles or something to sell. What is this? Use strawberry bush, there's like nothing there. It's so tiny, it's not even grown yet. Okay, so now we are in Magnolia Glo Blossom. Blossom. <laughs> so maybe there are some items around here. I don't know, we're just really poor and I'm a little bit desperate. I just, we really need to find some stuff. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Yeah, it looks like all the plants are just really small and they haven't actually grown yet. Like I can't, I can't pick that. I don't know what the deal is. Like whenever I turned my game on, they were like both standing up front. They were both in a really good mood. So I don't know what happened. I think what I'm going to have them do. Oh, who's this? Is this, um, stop running please friendly introduction so let's go to get to know some more guys um palo rocco so we will chat with him and then we will probably go fishing to try to earn some money because i don't really know you know what else to do oh and here's jeffrey Landgrab. i think he was pretty mean to us at the gym if i recall and that's another weird thing she doesn't have any relationships besides um dawn and some guy named gary who i don't really know so I don't know, so we're gonna go ahead and chat up with them a little bit. Okay, it looks like he's leaving, so let's um, gossip. We can flatter him. Okay, no nope. heartfelt compliment. Do an impression, and let's see, tell him a funny story. So that'll help us get a little few charisma points, get to know him a little bit, and then we will have him in reserve. Um, Gary actually has a spouse, so we actually cannot marry him at all, so I just want to prepare Palo for maybe marriage. I noticed um, earlier that it seems that Don Lothario had a romance with somebody else. He had a few romances with two other girls who are not us. So I wonder if he was like chatting with them on the phone or something. Oh, three girls. Oh my God. While Jacqueline enjoys her lunch with this kind little old lady here. What is her name? Are we even talking to her? No, let's talk to her. Oh my God, is this guy a hobo? 
<gasps> oh no, he's so strange. He like, he kind of hissed. I don't know, that was kind of weird. Okay, so we're gonna be done talking to her and then we are gonna use the restroom and then I think I want to have Dawn and Jacqueline elope. Oh no, please don't, please don't get married in the bathroom, no. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. Let's find somewhere very pretty. Um, I guess we can come over here to underneath this tree. Go here, please. Go here, please. I do not want them to get eloped in the bathroom. That would be very embarrassing. Okay, so we can't really see the tree, which is fine. Now let's try to do this. Elope immediately with Dawn. Oh, it's happening. Good, I'm glad. I didn't know he would be allowed to reject us when getting married at this point. It seems it's kind of taking them a while. Are there even rings involved? Or are they just whispering in each other's ears? Oh, and then she's giving him the ring. And then he's gonna give us a ring. And then, oh no, I know, I messed up the camera. Oh, I'm the worst Sims player ever. Oh, cute. Okay, so they are officially eloped. Married, we did it. You can have Mary Sims move in together by using the split and merge household. I think they do live together. I don't know, let's see, let's go home. Cause he should, he should come with us, we moved him in. We didn't get any money whenever he moved in with us, but you know, that's what happens whenever you move away from roommates, I guess. Yes, okay, he is here. He's napping for some reason, so that's strange. So I think we are also going to send Jacqueline to sleep just so that she can also sleep. Actually, let's let's have them woohoo together. I don't think that they've woohooed yet. So more choices, romance, more choices, more choices. No, I, I don't want them to try for a baby. Okay, so we're just gonna have them woohoo so that they can like have some fun, maybe get their relationship a little bit up. Why did they have to go to the restroom to discuss this? Oh, and he's gonna say no. Oh, I thought he was gonna say no. Okay, well, awesome. Oh gosh, and now they're both woohooing for the first time. So cool. Okay, so after the woohoo, I'm gonna let them both sleep for a while and then I will get back to you guys once they are finished sleeping. Oh my gosh, our phones are ringing off the hook with like congratulations on getting married and stuff like that. So I think what we're going to do right now is we are going to go ahead and get ready for our dinner party just so that we can, you know, get some stuff done in this episode since we don't have any money we need to move faster and try to marry another guy who can, you know, support us because $279 is not good enough, Don Lothario, I apologize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly have Jacqueline leave the room and I am going to change up this room to make it more acceptable for a dinner party. I, uh, I don't know, this house was just not the best choice. Okay, so here's some dining room stuff. Uh, I think it would be nice if we just had a very simple table. I don't know, it doesn't have to be too long. We don't have a lot of money, obviously, but I think it'd be nice if um, we could seat more than a few people. Okay, so this one might be good. Oh no, it took like all of our money. Huh. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Let's see if there's anything we could sell. We don't really need that. We don't really need this. Okay, so that's 700 about $800 that we can spend on chairs. And then I think that that would be good. We just want more than one person to be able to come to our dinner parties. Oh, no, and it looks like only four people are going to be able to sit anyway. Maybe it's because the door is there. So I don't know. Let's see. Okay, good. So we got another chair placed. We need a rug in here, that's for sure. Because, I, I don't know, the room looks very bare. Oh, and look, we can add some plants. I don't know if that'll get in the way of people eating. I don't know. We'll put that there. That'll be a very nice little touch. Now let's see about a rug. This is a nice rug. I really like this rug. That's, that's kind of nice. It's really small. Okay, so it's not the best dining room, but it'll do for now while we throw our very first dinner party ever. What is this moodlet? Fruity delicacy. Was there really any fruit in that fruitcake? Doesn't matter, it was delicious. Oh, so she ate some of the fruitcake. That's cool, I guess. Um, let's see, how do I plan a, plan a dinner party? Dance party, black, oh no, we're gonna have to pay for a dinner party. Oh, uh, it's a hundred dollars. Okay, so we have to sell something else. <laughs> we are a little desperate for money, guys. Look at all this decorative cabinets that we do not need. Okay, so that should be enough for a dinner party. Oh no, what is that a random piece of wood doing there? That is so strange. All right, so we are gonna try to plan a dinner party one more time. Click to invite a sim, one required. Dawn, I guess? Click to invite a 
sim so we want to invite this lady and maybe Gary since he has a wife we are gonna go after him to require did I get them okay yes um caterer we don't really need to get her actually I'm the host so that's awkward I, I'm not Don me and then I guess Don can come is that how you do it we got three guests great um we don't need a caterer we're just going to have it at our house. The Hughes resident, why would we have it at somebody else's house? That's strange. Okay, so quickly, we need to serve dinner. I think the best we could do is mac and cheese. So it's going to be a dinner party with mac and cheese. Okay, whatever, it's fine, I'm doing it. Our guests are arriving. Hello, welcome guests. We are making everybody mac and cheese. Um, have Sims dance at the same time. Oh no, that's gonna be really hard because we don't really have, oh, we do have money for a stereo. All right, where is our dancing area going to be? I guess it could just be in here. It doesn't need to be too fancy. We have this boom box. Um, do we have anything to put it on? Um, I guess we can, for now, put the boom box just on the floor over here and see if we can get everybody dance to dance to it at the same time. After we are finished cooking dinner, host socialize with guests. We are There's not even four guests to socialize with. Do we get a new one for every socialization we do hopefully okay so we are making the mac and cheese it's fine okay stop talking please just just make the food okay good it's done so we made a group me meal and now we have to call the meal everybody there's mac and cheese I've made mac and cheese for the dinner party please don't grab random food out of my fridge that's extremely rude All right and now is the time where everybody's going to eat at this dinner party Let's socialize with more of the guests. Oh, there's just a random plate of mac and cheese. I'm going to put that in the fridge. Okay, and here's our first first little dinner party. It's just mac and cheese. It's very modest. Oops, wall. Hello. Okay, good. So we got silver, which is the goal. Let's see if we can go for gold. Make a dessert. Have Sam's it. Let's, let's tell some stories. Tell unbelievable story. Tell unbelievable story. Tell unbelievable story. How long do we have? I think we have a good amount of time for this event. And then I think we are going to... How do you do a dessert? Do you just... Like chocolate cake, I guess? <laughs> no? Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and start onto our... I don't want to throw these away. I, <laughs> oh my god, we're so poor. We can't afford the trash can that's going to give us any money, so we're just gonna throw all these pieces of whatever away. Let's turn on um, pop because everybody likes to dance to pop. Why are they just pulling random food out of my fridge? Like, I'm literally trying to make them a cake right now, and they're being really rude. Okay, so we made dessert. We don't have to call everybody to dessert. So let's go ahead and, um, dance. All right, if we dance, let's invite Don to dance. Let's invite Connie to dance, and let's invite Gary to dance. Come on, guys. Dance party, please. Okay, good. I think that they're all going to dance at the same time. Please, no. No? So, somebody else needs to dance, please. No, don't get the cake. Um, invite to dance. We just need the Sam, Sims dancing at the same time. Please don't ruin this for me, Dawn. Come over here and dance. Please. We almost have gold. Please. Oh, good. We did it. We got gold, guys. That's fantastic. We are the perfect host. <laughs> okay, so I'm so glad that everybody enjoyed themselves at my party. That means so much to me. Thank you guys so much for coming. And Dawn's just gonna play on the computer. Oh my gosh. What an interesting screenshot I just stumbled upon. Um, let's save that. Very cute. I <laughs> this is so funny. Franklin just became good friends with Dawn or Jacqueline did. Okay, that's good. I would hope that's her husband, who we are going to have to kill in the next episode because you know we're just we're just that evil it's it's bound to happen you know so okay so it looks like Connie's about to leave please leave thank you okay good and now I think we're going to probably go here no not Don not Don Don you can go you can stay here we're gonna go here Let's, come on Jacqueline come on out right and then lock door for everyone but Jacqueline so it appears that Jacqueline, our Black Widow, has now just locked Don Lothario into the computer room to die. <laughs> but I think that that is a great place to stop for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment. 
I would very much appreciate it, even if you're just letting me know that you watched to the end. It means the world to me. And I hope to see you guys in my next Black Widow Challenge episode, where we will be killing off Don Lothario and finding a new boyfriend. But just a reminder, we have to, I guess we can't, uh, I just locked him in here, but we have to prove that we're like cheating on him and I don't know. Stuff's gonna go down in the next episode, you guys. Be ready. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All the time to see my setup. Here's my setup. I have my computer that is from Whitebox PC. I will be going into a more in-depth, detailed video about my computer um, at a different time. As you can see, it's the love of my life. Uh, thank you so much. Uh